Yo, what's up, everybody? This is uh, Philip Williams from WheelJamsBeats.com. Um, TrafficBoy.net is the blog. Um, and I want to shoot a quick video. Uh, this video is about uh, how to shorten your links when you're posting your links on social media sites like Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, especially Twitter, uh, any, any social media um site that you want to pay, paste a link or or embed a link into a post I want to show you how you can shorten that link uh, so it it uh, you know it doesn't look so cluttered and so big and crazy let me show you let me show you what I mean okay let's say I want to I'm on Facebook right now let's say I want to do a post and I want to post the link on my Facebook page uh, so I'll go to my uh, go to the link or go to the web page that I want and I, you know I grab the link and I go back to Facebook and I go to post you know paste that link in look at how long that link is now when that shows up in people's feeds and you know they're gonna see this big old long link it's just not attractive like people do not want to click on a big link like that so let me show you a quick way uh, where you can shorten that link and make it a little more prof uh, more professional. All right, so you go to this site. Uh, it's called Bitly.com, and you can just I'm already there, but it's just b i t l y dot com, and I'm already there. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you go there yourself, and then right away you can see uh, on the right of the screen where you can just paste your link in, and it automatically shortens that link for you. So here it is highlighted. I'm just going to copy that. And now I'll go back to my Facebook page. And here, let me just kind of clear that. Let me refresh my page, Facebook page real quick. And all right, I'm going to go ahead and paste that short link in. And with Facebook, when you, when you paste the link in, it likes to automatically um, uh, pull information about that link into the feed. So it will kind of create its own... Um, subject line and everything you can choose to close that out uh, you know delete that and then that way it's just a clean link there and then I like to either put uh, you know a question or put something in there something that's going to be thought-provoking to make people want to click on that link or uh, what's always good to do is add a add a video add a picture add something this this that has value to it that, that's going to catch uh, someone's eye when they're scrolling uh, on their phone, when they're scrolling down their phone, they see that image, see that meme, see uh, you know something that's going to catch their eye, and uh, and then they'll see this little link, and and then the smaller it is, the more op to uh, the people are actually opt to click on that link, versus it being that big old long uh, dragged out link. So, so anyway, that's a quick tip. I hope that helps, guys. Um, matter of fact, I know it'll help uh, if you utilize it. It you'll you'll start to see more um, conversions as far as people clicking on your links. Uh, I don't advise for you to just to spam. I hate spam. I don't do it myself. You know, whenever I'm um, adding links, I always want to make sure I'm adding some kind of value uh, and something that's going to be thought-provoking that's going to make people want to click that link. Uh, by all means, do not uh, spam people. Don't inbox people with your links and just uh, post your links, you know, a hundred times a day. People will not click on your links. It's, it's, they just won't. So, um, again, I hope this helped, guys. And uh, this is Philip Williams signing off, wheeljamsbeats.com. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. Peace.